All right, please welcome a gallant challenger, Miguel Espino. I just want to thank uh, Youngstown, top rank, obviously Bob Arum, uh, for making all this happen and giving me an opportunity to uh, fight for my first world title shot. Um, I think I did fairly well. Uh, as soon as I got hit, unfortunately, the game plan went out the window. Uh, we had a perfect game plan, but we didn't execute it. But nevertheless, I'm okay, as you can see. Uh, well, first of all, don't stay in stone, uh, not to stay toe-to-toe -to -toe for the first four rounds, which obviously that's what happened. Uh, we were supposed to, well, I was supposed to stay relaxed, move to my right, move to my right. But it was surprising to me that uh, Kelly, being as strong as he is, he wasn't able to back me up, so that gave me a little confidence um, until I started feeling his power around the third round. So uh, that was the game plan, stick to the, going to the right, relax, don't throw a lot, which I did, um, and take him to deep waters and drown him. But um, obviously that didn't happen, but that was the game plan. I'm, I'm not going to let any of my guys get hurt. And uh, Kelly Pavlik, you know, he saw um, Miguel leaning over that front foot, and he was very susceptible to the right uppercut. I asked Miguel to make the adjustment several times in the corner. He didn't make the adjustment. You know what? I'm not going to let him take a beating. I'm not going to let him get hurt. I'm actually very, very angry at my trainer. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's fired. No. Um, no, uh, me and him, we're like brothers. Uh, he did the right thing, and he's always looking out for me. Um, I would have to say respectfully, no. He seemed a little gassed, and um, I honestly, um, respectfully, thought I heard him a few times. Um, and, you know, he didn't think I could hit. Um, he thought he could bully me. I don't remember taking one step back, but um, respectfully, obviously. But um, I did. If if there was ever an opportunity to take uh, the champion down, today was the day. I think 60 is my weight. Um, as you saw, I hurt the middleweight, the middleweight champion, champion of the world, a few times. Body shots, a couple of head shots. I never took a step back. Um, I just didn't execute the game plan. I didn't fight as fluently as, as I would want to. Um, I haven't been active as much, but uh, as top rank assured me, they're going to take well care, uh, well care of me, of keeping me busy. And, and I do see myself being one day the middleweight champion of the world. Uh, no, that was a problem. <laughs> the first round, he hit me, and I'm like, ah, oh, all right. He, ain't, he don't hit so, he ain't so bad, you know. He, he don't hit so hard. And that's why I was right there in the pocket. That's why I was right there taking the shots. And as you can see in my face, you know, I'm a little swollen up. But I was like, come on, okay, he ain't so bad. Okay, come on. So, no, it wasn't the hardest I've ever been hit. But he did catch me flush with the uppercuts, and that's when he dropped me. But I wasn't never, never severely hurt, but hurt enough that he dropped me. No, but he's a tall, lanky guy. And I was very respectful. You know, I shook his hand. I apologized. Um, uh, the ref was kind of angry at me. He was yelling at me, but but it wasn't intentional, you know. It was all in fair, you know, part of the fight, you know. But it wasn't intentional, and I apologize to Kelly, and, you know, it is what it is. Absolutely not. What do you think? Not just saying. <laughs> no, uh, the referee did a great job. He did what he had to do. He warned me a few times. And um, he, he, he did what he had to do, definitely. Absolutely, uh, all great champions lose. Um, it's unfortunate that I didn't seize the opportunity, uh, taking advantage of, you know, at a vulnerable champion, at a vulnerable state in his life. But uh, this, is, this won't be my first or my last time fighting for a world title, but definitely it's a, it's, a, it's a great thing and a great opportunity, and I took advantage of it. <laughs> Try. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Youngstown State University, Youngstown, Ohio.